This slide is not to steal Carl Casanova's thunder. It's really to acknowledge a few things. One, when Forrester released this process-centric AI ops wave back in June 2023, BMC was recognized as the clear leader in this category. We are incredibly honored and proud of this accomplishment. So it's a little bit of a humble brag. Number two, I want to thank all the BMCers who worked tirelessly day in, day out for months at end to get us to this first place. Number three, to you, our customers and analysts out here, it is your insights and invaluable feedback over time that has helped us shape and refine our roadmap and get us to this primacy of place. So thank you. Now, let's tease out all of those cool things that got us to the leadership position. I'm going to talk about five distinct differentiators in our solution, and we're working on many, many more. Number one, it starts with the Helix platform, which is at the bottom. This is a modern, multi-tenant, high availability, open, extremely scalable platform that has been built from the ground up featuring 200 plus microservices. We're talking telco scale, cloud scale, and some of the largest organizations spanning global financial services, oil and gas, retail giants, tier one telco companies are all, and then some are using this solution. And this solution with the platform is not just about ingesting metrics, logs, events, traces, and mainframe data, but BMC has also embraced open telemetry, and we are offering out of the box integration with third-party systems that provide APM data, cloud monitoring data, network data, storage data, and so much more. So that's differentiator number one. So the logical question is, what do you do with this gobs of data that you've ingested? That's differentiator number two, which is automated service modeling. This is a cool feature where we are able to take all of this ingested data and marry it to the overarching business service. So then, for each business service that you've deployed in your organizations, you can trace all the supporting technology components that enable this business service. That is a unique differentiator. Differentiators three and four bring to life the power of AI. So as Ayman mentioned, at its simplest form, AI does two things. Number one, makes existing things better. Number two, makes new things possible that were not previously conceivable. Causal AI, which is differentiator number three, is a wonderful example of AI doing existing things better. Case in point, anomaly detection, something that has been available for decades with traditional monitoring tools based on rules-based approaches, has received a shot in the arm with our approach and AI-driven anomaly detection. It's orders of magnitude better than its predecessor. So that's a wonderful example of AI doing existing things better. Predictive AI, one of my favorite examples, is an example of AI making new things possible. And this is continuous service optimization as an illustration. So imagine the AI working 24-7-365. That's exactly what it does. Think of it as an extension of your employee workforce, maybe the ideal employee because it doesn't require any rest. So the AI is working continuously in analyzing historical data, looking at patterns, and determining what could happen in the future. As an example, it could basically tell you that business service X is going to experience a severe performance degradation on Thursday of next week between 9 and 10 AM. And it's because of reasons A, B, and C. And guess what? It will also suggest recommendations for you to course correct and reduce said risk. That is pretty darn powerful. That's differentiator number four. Differentiator number five is an automation broker for policy-based remediation, which offers benefits to different sets of stakeholders. So let's talk about the benefits offered. I classify the stakeholders into two groups. One is the IT executives, for whom our solution basically helps them reduce infrastructure cost, provides visibility across silos, as well as relieves the burden of talent attrition and skill gap with the auto remediation. The second set of stakeholders are the IT operations personnel, for whom our solution helps 
then discover, maintain, and manage hybrid IT de dependencies, reduce MTTI and MTTR, and takes the pressure off them for said skill gap with the auto remediation. That is a pretty powerful solution, folks, and we are working furiously on further enhancing the differentiation that we are offering here. 